Well, hello and welcome back. And I'm just wrapping up the day here out at Galbraith Mountain, just outside of Bellingham in Washington. And this is a review that I've been wanting to bring to you for some time now. And it's on this, the Fox Ranger Fire Jacket. And I'm actually kind of excited about this because I think that Fox is really underselling this particular item and it would really appeal to a lot of people here in the Pacific Northwest or anybody operating in kind of cool and mixed conditions. So the Ranger Fire Jacket is on their sort of like insulated cold weather riding end of the spectrum. But you'll see in the description on the Fox website that it has an internal membrane. And so I was corresponding with Fox directly and what they confirmed is that it is actually using the same 10K 10K, so 10K waterproof, 10K breathable uh, membrane that they actually use in their rain gear. And they're sewing that into this particular jacket, uh, which is really, really cool, but they don't advertise it as uh, being a waterproof garment because they're not actually adding seam tape on the seams. So where the two sort of panels are joining together, typically there would be a piece of waterproof tape that would uh, prevent it from soaking in. The way that this jacket is constructed is it, it doesn't allow that because it has like a fleece backer. So they're not advertising it as waterproof and there still is the risk of water soaking through, but it is actually waterproof. So yesterday uh, I was out riding and it was really quite nice here, albeit cool. And then we got some rain for a couple of hours. And so this was able to keep me warm and dry in those conditions. And I think that's really actually pretty incredible for a piece because I haven't seen anything else on the market like that. So let's walk through the details one by one. On the front side, you'll see that there are two uh, pockets. They are deep enough that you can tuck your hands in to get out of uh, cold weather. And uh, it's a really nice size. I've been using it to store some of the uh, filming equipment. Um, they are both zippered, so they have a really nice zipper here. These are not waterproof zips. They're actually kind of like a nice chunky uh, plastic zip. Obviously center zip. There is a full hood, so if you are just hanging out, let's say after the ride or you know between runs and you want to take off your helmet, you have a nice hood here. And I'll actually sort of demonstrate what that looks like. Hold it up, the mic's going to be in the way, but... Um, and then of course a couple of drawstrings to bring it in tighter. It's a really contoured hood, uh, which is actually kind of a good thing because if you are on the mountain and you are cold and wet, this is a good way to actually trap in some heat. On the inside of the jacket, if we take a look, there is a checkered synthetic uh, sort of fleece type material here and a really nice um, thick wind backing to the zipper. So as you're riding, um, the wind is not going to blow through and make you cold on the inside. So this is actually really nice and insulating. It is actually so insulating that it's worth talking about what temperature range it's best used in. So. The last few days here out in Bellingham have been about five to six degrees Celsius during the day. I apologize to all my American viewers because I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit. Uh, but suffice it to say, it's cold and just above freezing. And it's actually kind of those really, I don't want to call them dangerous, but quite frankly dangerous weather temperatures where cold and wet, um, you know, can equal a really unpleasant time. I have found that on the climbs, um, I am definitely sweating and I was wishing that, you know, I didn't necessarily have something so thick on, but as soon as I get on the descents and you're in the forest and it's shaded, absolutely, this is the perfect jacket. I've been warm uh, the whole way down, but not overheating. There still is breathe, a breathable quality to it, but anytime you put a waterproof breathable membrane in anything, you're gonna cut down significantly on the breathability. So if you're comparing this to your, you know, cotton-based uh, hoodie that you might have in your closet, this inherently is actually gonna trap a lot more heat in. On that note, um, it's a very fitted silhouette. So there's not going to be a lot of dead air that's going to kind of come up in and actually you're not gonna be trapping cold air next to your body. So that's really nice. On the flip side, if let's say you maybe put on a little bit of weight recently and are feeling particularly self-conscious about that, as I may be, um, this is a very fitted silhouette. Um, now that's a good thing because when you're riding, you're not going to get it flapping around. So this has been rock steady exactly where it is, but, um, it's, it, it is very fitted. Uh, this is a small for reference. Uh, I'm five foot nine, 175 centimeters. 
I weigh approximately, I think it's like 72.5 kgs or about 150 pounds. Um, and so this is very fitted silhouette and the, uh, the arms actually are a slightly bit more relaxed, albeit tapered on their own, which is nice to see. So it doesn't flap around. You may have noticed there is a zip down here in the bottom. Quite frankly, I could do without it. I don't mm -hmm. think it really adds anything to the garment. Um, I mean, you can uh, zip it up, but um, because of the way that it's uh, constructed with a bit more of like a drop tail design and shorter in the front when you're like bending over. Um, I really don't think that there's any need to have this here. Um, it's there, so it is what it is. One nice feature that I do want to mention is these little triangular cutouts right here on the wrists. And what this is for is that when your hand is in a rotting position, normally on just any other uh, garment, you wouldn't need this little triangle cutout because your hand would be straight down. But on a bike where you're going to be holding the handlebars, your thumb is going to be out in this position. And you can see here that this relief just prevents the, the, the sleeve from riding up that extra little bit, which would allow extra air to get up and inside. So by having this little triangular relief here, uh, it allows the cuff to stay down in its full position. And I can confirm over the last few days of wearing this, it's absolutely done that. One thing that I do want to mention though, I did a video just recently about how to add waterproofness, which is really uh, DWR, a durable water repellent coating using the Gear Aid, which is actually a Bellingham company, so shout out to them. What I did for this particular jacket, even though it has that waterproof breathable membrane on the inside, it still is inherently this nice soft material. So what I did was I did spray this entire jacket with their uh, Revivex waterproof uh, beading type coating, that DWR product so that when I'm getting splashed on, it allows uh, the water to sort of beat up and kind of fall off and, uh, and it, I haven't had it soak through or soak out at all yet. Again, not seam tape, so it still could do that in a heavy rain, but uh, just that extra layer of, um, you know, waterproof or water uh, resistance is never a bad thing. So I'm gonna to try to keep this video fairly short and sweet. If you have any particular questions about this particular garment, let me know in the comments down below. If you found this at all helpful in your own sort of clothing selection or you wanted to know more about this particular product, please consider giving it a like. And if you aren't already subscribed, yes, right now this channel is featuring a lot of product reviews, but I have uh, a video coming out, um, if not out already, that's gonna talk about the future of this channel. It's gonna be a thank you for reaching 100 subscribers. So if you haven't seen that one already, I'm gonna talk about the future and my plans for 2023. So it's not all going to be product reviews, there is actual mountain biking. So until then, thank you very much for watching. I really do sincerely appreciate it. Thank you to all the new subscribers, hello. And um, yeah, we will see you in another one. So you take care and bye for now.